Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here for Precentral.net, and I want to show you uh, how I task manage on WebOS 2.0. Uh, I actually have got a pretty good system down that I use quite a bit. And so I'm going to start just by launching a bunch of apps that will let you get a feel for uh, how quickly apps launch here. And then uh, once that's done, we'll uh, sort of go through what my process is for uh, how I multitask. So you can see I am uh, just burning through a whole bunch of apps that I typically use. Uh, typically leave open. Uh, let's see. There we go. And then we'll go to the new feeder beta, which is great, by the way. We're going to have a write-up on that soon. Oops, didn't mean to launch that one. It doesn't go there. Actually, we're going to start rearranging stuff already because this is not in the order I prefer. There we go. Have that Facebook up. There's our feeder, and then uh, we'll launch email, we'll launch messaging, and uh, actually we're going to launch a couple more things here next to email, launch a couple browser windows, see if we can get that to rotate for us, there we go, a mail window, let's launch one more mail window. I have it bookmarked, which I don't, so I'll just launch that. And let's see, what else am I forgetting? This might be good. Okay, so we start, uh, you know, I've got a bunch of music apps that I use, a podcasting app, I'm still using Dr. Potter, and then I like Slacker for streaming music the best. So we'll put those together in a stack. Okay, I like to have crossword puzzles open. And then I've got all my um, sort of task management stuff, memos, calendar, and to-dos. So we'll stack those together. And then I've got uh, Twitter here with Bad Kitty and Facebook, social media, stack those together. My newsreader, that's very important to me. My email. And actually what I like to do is I like to have my personal email and my work email, they're both Gmail accounts, sort of in the background as cards, so if I need to search my full uh, box outside of my inbox, I can do that fairly quickly. And then we've got IM. Um, and this is my basic sort of default setup. You know, if I want to play some music, I can go all the way to the right, or left, excuse me, I can, you know, kill some time. I've got all my tasks sitting open waiting for me. I can check Twitter very quickly, and, uh, you know, as you know, stack work really well. So if I have a, uh, a link that I want to click on something like this WP Central link, I can tap on that and also stay open right in that card there. Um, ditto for uh, feeds, uh, and then it's also sometimes nice for me to have a, uh, you know, the full reader in the background. Oops, that's Google Voice. Let's uh, try that again, shall we? Oh, I've got a reader bookmarked here. There we go. Nice to have a full reader in the background of that card as well. There we go. There's all my email all stacked together, and there's my IM for when that stuff comes in. And uh, that's my basic setup, and it's really convenient because uh, pretty much all the time, all the stuff I use the most is always sitting open. I can go and check Twitter really quick, check a link really quick, close that out, go check my feeds, so when a new card opens, it opens up in the stack. You know, email, same thing. And so I really have just like a really convenient workspace. The same way that on my desktop, I've got my IM over here, and I've got my email over here on the other side on different monitors. It's actually like you really get a sense of place uh, for where your different apps are. Um, and it's just great. Uh, in, in fact, this mirrors my sort of my setup on my desktop, except you know, usually my music is on the other side. But, you know, I keep sort of stuff arranged in a way that makes sense for me, and then I just leave this stuff open all the time. And, um, you know, that's just one example of a workflow. I could see other people that care more about needing to check the weather and, say, traffic on uh, Google Maps. They could take those and leave those open all the time and have those sitting in a spot. Um, you know, um, there's just, you know, if you like other music apps, if you want to have a bunch of games open. Um, you know, say I was out for the weekend and I wanted to, you know, be ready to go and have a party or, you know, whatever. I could have a bunch of location-based apps open that I could stack together. And now this is sort of my, you know, here I am out on the weekend and I want to be nerdy and check in and see what restaurants are nearby and so on and so forth. It's all sitting right there. 
let's say I'm traveling, I'd uh, open up Flight Track, and I would probably open up my, uh, of course, TripIt web page. Uh, hopefully, we'll see a TripIt app pretty soon, which could be pretty exciting. And then I would have Flight Tracker and TripIt just sort of sitting there, so I could check my flight statuses, make sure I know where I am in the airport, so on and so forth. Um, and you know, there's just you, you can basically say I was, uh, you know, working heavily with uh, Office files. I could have sort of the stuff that I use to look at documents all sort of stacked together. Put these three together here. Notes is a really great app. Integrates with Google Docs. And let's there we go. Get those put together. So there. And so on. And, and so basically it's just, it's really just insanely convenient to have all of the stuff that you do organized in the way that you like and just being able to go and find stuff quickly uh, rather than having to wait for apps to launch. Um, and then when you're done, of course, it's just, you can flick stuff away really quickly on this OS and get back to your default setup. So there you go. That's how I multitask in WebOS 2.0. These are the cards that I typically have open and the way that I have them open. And I know this is a lot of me just flicking around stacks and so on, but I just wanted to give you a feel for what it's like to be able to have a bunch of stuff open and be able to switch between the different things that you're doing but still leave them open and, you know, feel like you've got a sense of place in your OS instead of going back to the home screen into an app, back to the home screen into an app. It's pretty cool.